Hi everyone, I'm Professor Tech, and this week I'm gonna be walking you through installing Decky, my personal favorite customization plugin for the Steam Deck that will help you make the system feel like your own. So you've had your Steam Deck for a minute and you're wanting to put a fresh coat of paint on that old classic car. Or maybe you just got your Steam Deck and you're fully ready to dive right into the world of customization of it all. Fortunately, thanks to the inherent nature of the Steam Deck being a user moddable device, you can customize virtually any piece of the Steam Deck from its external look to its physical buttons to the way that your system's digital display appears. While the word modding can sound scary to the uninitiated, thankfully the Steam Deck has an incredible support community that has actually made the process very, very easy. And that's where Decky comes in. It's a simple, easy way to install custom plugins that can be finished in just a small handful of steps. And because everything on my channel can be completed in five steps, that's because we're Tech 5 or Technical, get it? That's where the Professor Tech comes from. Anyway, before I go any further, this is simply a reference guide and anything that you do to your Steam Deck is ultimately your own responsibility. I'm not responsible for what you do to your Steam Deck. This is simply an educational guide. So so any damage or issues that you may incur on your Steam Deck from this point on is your own responsibility. So with that out of the way. Okay, so first you're wanting to open the Steam menu while in gaming mode. From there, go to System and then scroll down until you see Enable Developer Mode. Toggle this option on. Now, go back to the menu on the left-hand side and scroll down until you can see Developer as a menu option. Inside this menu, turn on the CEF Remote Debugging option. Your Steam Deck should ask you if you'd like to restart, to which you can say yes. Do it. Your system will restart and that will lead us into Now, press the dedicated Steam button on the deck and navigate to the Power and Options menu. From there, you can switch the deck into desktop mode by selecting Switch to Desktop. If you've never done this before, wait for the deck to correct itself and appear in a normal operating system homepage screen. It may switch back and forth. It may switch back and forth from a vertical to horizontal orientation or horizontal vertical mode, but don't worry, this is totally normal to go. Once the deck is in regular desktop mode, go ahead and select Firefox or your browser of choice and navigate to the Decky Loader GitHub page pictured here. Now, scroll down until you see the Decky Loader icon along with a download button. Click this and the download should automatically start. This will download the installer and once it is finished, navigate to where the downloaded file is most likely stored, which is most likely in your downloads folder unless you've changed the default settings or you manually selected a different download location. Either double click to launch the app or select execute to get the setup process started and follow that by selecting continue on the following menu. You will be prompted to create a new password for which you'll want to select yes. Make sure to select the release version, not free release, as this is the far more stable version of the Decky app. Not to worry though, for if you'd like to tinker, there is the ability to change this later on in the app itself. Okay, after a few seconds, everything should be installed and you'll be asked to close the installer. Navigate back to gaming mode by either restart starting the Steam Deck or select return to gaming mode on the desktop, which frankly just basically resets the system anyway, so either way really works. Now for the fun part. Assuming you did everything correctly in the previous steps, you should now be able to click the quick access button on the deck and you'll see a small power plug icon. This is Decky. Yours will appear blank at first, but not to worry, you can actually download plugins within the Decky plugin itself. And it's really easy. Again, before going forward, I wanna reemphasize that whatever you decide to download and install using Decky is your own responsibility. So pay attention to the descriptions of the items and plugins that you are about to install. On the top right of the Decky, menu is a little storefront icon. To download plugins, click on that. This will bring up a browser. From here, select the plugins that you would like to install on your system. The most common that I've seen used are the CSS loader, Animation Changer, HLBT or How Long to Beat, and Vibrant Deck. There are many others, but I tend to use these and find that they're the most handy for the average user. And here's a quick explanation of those few. The CSS loader allows you to install custom themes and button features that can be used solo or combined with other themes and features as well. 
The animation changer allows you to change the boot screen animation that plays when you first launch your Steam Deck, as well as the animation that plays immediately upon putting the Steam Deck into sleep mode and that initial quick animation that plays when it creates its wake. How Long to Beat correlates with the howlongtobeat.com website, so you can see the average completion time and average 100% completion time for most games. And this is super handy if you're someone who travels and is looking for a quick and tight experience, or if you're somebody that is looking for a grandiose adventure that will take hundreds of hours to complete. And Vibrant Deck allows you to adjust the general screen saturation as well as various RGB color gammas. I actually have mine set to a saturation of 125, which gives sort of a faux OLED-like look to most of my games on the Steam Deck. You can also create per-game profiles, much like other apps, if you find that certain games already have way too many overblown settings, or if you want a custom look for particular games outside of the standard Vibrant Deck profile that you created. And step five is purely to experiment. As I mentioned, there is so much customization that can be done with the Steam Deck, and this is just the tip of the iceberg. Decky is an entry-level point for most people. There are ways to continually modify the software, to modify the hardware, to get ex additional external accessories that extend battery life or add additional peripheral features. The only real way to see what might benefit you is to consider trying things out that you're comfortable doing. But if you do decide to jump into the wonderful world of customization, you may find that you discover your new favorite hobby and start a YouTube channel all about technology and gaming devices. Or you could just enjoy your systems and devices like a normal person. Um, I mean, I guess that's cool too. And there you have it. You have successfully installed Decky Loader. And if this is your first customization to the Steam Deck, welcome to the wonderful world of portable PC customization. There is so much more available to do and change, but this is an easy starter guide for those just getting into it or that are looking to explore Decky for the first time. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. And if you'd like to see more tutorials like this, please make sure to hit the like button down below, subscribe, and I will see you all next week. Bye friends.